Welcome friends, in this video we are making some fun and cute bunny waffles. So as you see here, I got the Dash Bunny Waffle Maker. And I think you can order them in a lot of places. I got mine from, I think it was Kohl's or Target. So here we go. I decided to use the Pancake Waffle Mix from Aldi. And on the back, it gives you some really good instructions, very simple to make, and you can use either milk or water, and I always choose milk. I think it adds a little something extra to your pancake mix. And also, when you're making pancake mixes, you can do a lot of different things. You can add cinnamon, add some brown sugar, add a little bit of vanilla or some other flavoring if you'd like. So, and if you have not been here before, my name is Erica and I'm a child care center owner. I own multiple centers and I try to make lunches and meals special for the children in my care. And all of my little ones really look forward to meal times in the centers because they know that our meal times are special and they are unhurried and we really have a good time together. And they also know that there will always be something prepared for them that will make them smile. And I thought those bunnies would do just that, make them smile because they are super cute. Check them out. Nice. And so I am using cream cheese frosting to add as glue to our bunny tail. And then just some cereal that we already had in the kitchen to make a nice 3D bunny tail. So it's fluffy and it's cute. And I use the cream cheese frosting again as like a glue to add the little pre-made candy eyeballs. So again, these are for my little ones. I think they're going to like them and we are going to use them for a breakfast. And if you are a child care provider and you're in the child and adult care food program, make sure that you use this for your grain. And then you can add your other things. If you just wanna have one thing, which is a fruit or a vegetable, that will work. Or if you wanna extend it and create a lunch, you can do that too. Make sure you have all of your meal components, which would be either your two vegetables or your fruit and vegetable, along with your grain and your meat or meat alternative. So that's a way that you can have something that's cute as well as credible for your lunch program, for the children in your care. And if you're just doing it with your family, you can also have a balanced meal and it can be cute for your family or your little loved ones as well. And so again, like I said, I really enjoy preparing fun lunches and meals for the children in my care. I hope that you liked it here. So please like, share, and subscribe because that really helps the channel to grow and it's a great way to support. Thank you so much for watching.